Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will see the date and the date difference functions in Excel. So in this Excel, I have given a few names and the corresponding date of birth. And here the question is we need to find the age of that particular person in years, in months and in days. So to solve this one, so there is a function called today which gives the current date. See for example, I will, I will give this here is equal to today function today function today followed by the parentheses if you press enter you'll get the today's date today's date now we need to get the difference of the date of birth with the current date which gives the age in terms of years months and days so for this we are having a function called date difference so is equal to date difference and first give the date of birth comma today function so that it will give the difference of the date of birth and today and in terms of sorry in terms of years if you want to get in terms of years give the alphabet y so y is for years so just press enter you will get the age of this particular person with respect to today as of today right just double click so that you'll get each and every age so for example if a person born in 2017 the age is as of now it is it four years and if if any person born in 81 the age as of now is a 40 right the same thing if you want to get the age in terms of months go with the same function date difference and take one parameter as the date of birth comma today function so that we'll get the difference from today to the date of birth and here the result should be in terms of months so instead of y use m so m stand for months so the person who born in 1983 is having around 456 months as of today so just double click in the uh, right bottom corner so that the same formula will be applied for all the cells see the person who born in 2017 is having around 48 months as of today so if you want to get the age in terms of days use the same formula so date difference and give the cell comma sorry it's a date of birth we need to give the date of birth comma today function so we'll get the difference from today function today's date and the date of birth and give here the parameter as d so d stands for days so we'll get in terms of dates so the person who born in 1983 so as of now that means as of today the age is 1 13906 days that means age in terms of days so the person who born in 2017 as of today the age is 1462 days in terms of days so this is years this is in terms of months and this is in terms of days so for everything we have we are using the same function that is date difference date difference so it takes two parameters one is a date of birth the second one is a today and the third one is a age in years or months or days if it is if you want to get the age in years you have to specify y and if you want to specify if you want to get the age in days you we have to give the d and if you want to age in terms of months we need to pass the m right so this is how we can use the date difference function in excel so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, date difference function feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.